Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Auditing Auditors. Today, we're taking a trip over the Atlantic to see Watching the Watchmen. Now, Watching the Watchmen is the son of a channel that I actually audited them last year called Amagansett Press. And I said at the time that I would eventually get around to looking at Watching the Watchmen. And I'm there. I'm finally here taking a look at one of my favorite channels to watch. And that is watching the Watchman. So his name is Ben, by the way, and he does photography, video, and travel. And it says he's a full-time traveller, and he's done more than one hundred thousand miles, which is insane. So he's been posting videos since March twenty nineteen, and in that time has posted four hundred and three videos, gained two hundred and seventy-three thousand subscribers, and that has equaled sixty-nine million views. Almost 70 million views, but I really wanted to say 69. So <laughs> 69 million views. Amazing. Just incredible numbers. He's very similar to Amagansett Press in that they do a lot of the videos together. But what I find is that both of their videos are different because you're seeing a different perspective. So let's watch one of his videos that I thought was particularly interesting that wasn't strictly about audits. And that's what I like the most about watching The Watchmen and Amagansett Press is that they're not necessarily auditors they're more travel vloggers who happen to be called out quite a lot by people for filming and they get into quite a lot of scrapes and negative interactions with the general public with store owners and all sorts of unsavory people that they meet on their travels but they also meet really friendly people and really kind and generous people. And in this video, you'll see one of those one of those people that they met near the Texas border. So this video is called the Texas border. They don't want you to see So Let's just check out this video and see. And you'll see what I mean about uh, the difference between watching the Watchmen and Amagansett Press. As you can see behind me, we made it to the U.S.-Mexico border. That's the wall. And uh, let's check it out. Looks like there's a gap right here. Should I cross? I don't think anybody will see me. Let's check it out. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> Mexico, Mexico. Deep southern Texas, and this has got to be one of the craziest RV parks we've been to. Wow. So this river behind me is actually the U.S.-Mexico border. Yeah, that land on the other side is Mexico. And there's actually border patrol inside the RV park. That is mad. Imagine that. How's it going? How's it going, guys? I was just wondering if I could ask you, what is that thing? I've never seen that before. No, I got you. What is it? All right, so now we're in downtown McAllen, Texas, and we're gonna have a look around. Check you know it what out. it looked like to me? You know, where the uh, crowd dis dis distribution distribution disturbance. Uh, tools that they use in city centers when there's like protesters they send out like a wave like a really loud high-pitched wave and it apparently disperses people it could be could be for that i don't really know me invitaron a una fiesta de taco hoy Un señor de una fiesta que va a hacer tacos y comida. Y quiero llevarle un regalo. Es un, un señor mexicano. ¿No tienes idea qué lo, lo puedo pues llevar? Aquí adentro está la perfumería. Si gusta pasar para adentro. Por ahí está la puerta. ¿Perfume? Sí. Ah, pero, pero, yo no sé si perfume. Pues hay perfume. No lo conozco tanto. I'm always impressed when anyone can speak a different language and when Amagansett Press came out with this and was just like speaking to this woman and responding to what she said. I was like, that's that's like an understanding of a language. That's more than being able to speak it. That's like being able to understand the responses as well. Like anyone can just say, where can I get a gift? But then to understand what she's saying back to him is, is actually a real, real talent and a real skill. And I'm actually quite jealous that he's able to do this. <laughs> so they sent me back to see you. Um, uh, I got invited to a little taco party today. Yeah, I'm invited to a taco party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at, I don't want to show up empty handed. I want like a little gift to take. Okay. So do you have any suggestions? Any 
Yeah. I don't know the guy all I mean, that well. Colognes are good, right? Shit. Yeah, she mentioned that too. You got a press on it also. Is that recording? Yes, it is. That's nice. Is that all right? That's fine. Just catch my good side, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's to catch my good side. Yeah, which side is that? No. <laughs> I, mean, I, I should have shaved No, this know. is, you know, this is my son. <laughs> this is my son. We're traveling, man. So we're just That's taking you, man. That's taking anyone and enjoying right, the day, you know? Sure. Right yeah, on. You should give me a warning next time, man, so I can shave and look good for this, you know? No, don't shave that beard off, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And, and so obviously the guy was like, are you filming? What are you doing filming? And they explained it. And... You know, this is usually where people would be like, I don't want you filming in my store. Can you get out, please? Uh, but no, he was really nice and said, he's fine with it. And so they carry on. And they basically, they they search for this gift for this person. And they, they go around searching the little town for their friend that they've met. You never know, man. We make these connections and you never know where it goes, right? Yeah. But one thing I'll say, mi casa es tu casa. Igual manera. There you go. See? Appreciate nice you guys. Thank right you so nice much. Nice to meet you. Safe appreciate travels. You. Thank if you. anything you need, let us know. Right on. Thank I appreciate it. Y'all take care, man. Thank you. You too. Thank you. How's it going? So you see, there are really nice interactions with people when they're out and about. People use the opportunity that, that they can see with someone filming to advertise their business and just be generally good people to people who are filming, uh, which, <laughs> you know, isn't all that common as we find with UK auditors. So is this an American thing? Um, I don't know. But we do know that they do get their fair share of uh, interactions with negative people, So, um, w which we'll be coming on to watch. So stick around to see that. That's it. <laughs> yes, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay down here. Huh? We are, man. You can be here for a couple of days? Or? A couple more days. Yeah, yeah, we've been here for a few. Cool, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Mind if I take a selfie with you guys? Not at all, man. Not bad. Why not? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> get on each, one on each side. Yeah. yeah. Right, one, two, and three. Right, keep your eye out. Right, Appreciate you. it. Have a good one. That's pretty cool. We had a pretty fun experience here in McAllen, and we'll see you tonight at Poncho's Taco Party. What's up, guys? What's up? I got some of mine, too. I didn't oh, have mommy. He heard you were going to put it on the door. He said, I got to go give him mine. <laughs> All right. People know you guys. The, the guy which was here, yeah. he's like, oh, what's up? <laughs> There's a really good friend of mine where we're talking, we're talking about this pickleball thing. And, uh, Look at that! That's beautiful. Telling me, no, George. All right, we're back at the RV park, and we're on our way to Poncho's place. Don Poncho. Yes, sir. You're gonna be a YouTube star. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he got now, no. Wow. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh, you see, it's, 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 it's Monopoly, but it's McAllenopoly. Orally. It's all the businesses in McAllen. Oh, oh wow, that's yeah, a good it present. Is. They got, they did well there. Wow. So, Give you something to do on those hey. rainy days, you know? Her best side's the top of her head, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> Thank you. That would be wise. Yeah. <laughs> What's the word for hot in Spanish? Caliente. caliente. What? Caliente. 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 Yeah. Caliente. Caliente. They remade it twice. Are these tacos? Because I thought tacos were like hard. I thought they were crispy. Do they not have them crispy over there? Is it all like... Well, these are obviously official tacos. So am I, am I thinking... Is the taco that I think of wrong? I don't know. This is what I'm thinking. Is this a taco? Oh, this look, I don't know if this is it. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they used it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Look, 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 look. This is what I think of a taco. Is this not a taco? Is it, is it more like this one here? The, the one that's like more, but that's hard as well. That wasn't hard at all. Am I wrong? Am I wrong here? Is it not supposed to be hard? This is weird. I didn't know this. Are tacos hard? What a weird question. Are they supposed to be hard or are they supposed to be soft? No, it's not not usually hard. No way. Yeah, look, this is like tacos. Wow. I had no idea. So what do you guys eat in America then? Do you guys eat 
more like soft shell tacos rather than hard shell tacos. Because I thought it was more hard shell tacos was like the default, not soft shell. But it looks like it's the opposite way around. That's that's interesting. Wow. So the dealers they don't want to deal with it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's All right, Pancho. Thank you for everything, my man. It's okay, Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. The first, we can eat again. The first real Mexican tacos I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Have a good night, boss. Yes, have a good night. Too. Right on. It's wonderful okay. talking to you guys. Thank night. you, guys. All right, guys. Had a great time today in McAllen. Had a great time over at Pancho's house. And we'll see you tomorrow in Mexico. So as you can see, that's a really nice ending to a video. They had a really nice interaction with a lot of different people there, especially the business owners who were really kind with them. They put their sticker on the wall. It's very beautiful and very wholesome to watch when you watch videos like this it is very wholesome but they don't always get this reaction from people and recently they did meet mark rober's doppelganger <laughs> and seriously this guy is like mark rober's do doppelganger and it is crazy what he does uh, so i originally saw this on uh, amagan set press and and i watched his video because he is the one that pepper sprayed the mark rober doppelganger but in this case, we're going to watch the Amagansett Press version of the video because he gets a better angle of the video, which is why it's great when you have auditors and vloggers going around together because you've got two witnesses, really. And the witness that never lies is a camera, a recording camera. So let's check this out and see what happens when they visit. I think it's called Truckee. Welcome to California. Now this... Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't touch my shit. Don't right touch away. my shit. I don't care if I'm in your tuck. Welcome to California. Today we're in a small town up in the mountains in Northern California called Truckee. And uh, as usual, we're gonna walk around downtown, take some photos, take some video, and see what's going on in Truckee today. What are we shooting for? Just make a little video about the town. So they're in California, so expect to see a lot of liberals losing their minds in this video because of someone that they can't control who is filming on the street. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, Did you get okay. some my credentials? No. <laughs> Where's the makeup? Where? I don't have a dressing room. How am I going to do my makeup without a dressing room? What are you guys doing? Take some video. All right. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thanks. Good. good. Appreciate it. Is this your shop? Yeah. Cool. I'm going into a western event. Oh, right on. I'm actually from South Dakota, so I appreciate that. All right, good. Who are you guys shooting for? We're just making a video all the time. Making a little travel video. All right, cool. How long have you shot for you? About two years. Yeah, two years. my husband and I bought it. Yes, yeah, super fun. Very cool. Yeah, it's a sweet location, big windows. And I'm assuming it's a lot of different people that do the artwork? Yeah, about 12. Yeah. Do you do any of them? I do. Very cool. I do. Which, what, what piece is you? This one of mine here. And then I'm more like contemporary, abstract, uh, up here. This is... Oh, that's very yeah. cool. Yeah. A little, uh, pollock Uh, yeah, it's a little bit good. I gotta make the, uh, 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 torn it down, but a lot of people have loved it. No, I think it's cool. Yeah, thanks, right you know. On. We have a lot of bears at Tahoe, but a little bit abstract. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Oh, oh your, your, your personality shines through. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're having you. fun? Yeah, oh, always having fun. That's the name of the game, awesome right? awesome day. God's, yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's a shame so the sun. So many people are out and about. Everyone's super have positive, having a yeah, good yeah. time. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, Couldn't ask for more. Yeah, yeah we appreciate your hospitality. Yeah, Thanks for letting us come in. Anytime, anytime. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Very, very cool. Very, very cool that she allows these people to come in shows them this uh, art gallery and takes them through and shows them what's happening so we're going to switch over now to amaganset press's version of the video because you'll be able to hear the interaction better so if you're ever in the uh Truckee area make sure you check out gallery 5830 very cool vibes going on in there and some cool artwork and you might find something you like so tell them ap sent you they're very cool. They get taken around a shop and then they carry on walking down the street to see other shops. And they come across a shop that sells socks. But I'm calling it a sock laundry because who sells socks? 
in a shop. Seriously, like it, the only way this is this they can sustain themselves as a business is if they're doing something else on the side. You know, maybe money laundry, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's a bit creepy how the art gallery is like, yeah, yeah, come inside, come on, check out all my stuff. And then when they go to the other business, they're like, no, 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 you're not allowed out here. So let's show you what happens when he ends up going to the sock shop. Sock check. Sorry? What are you guys doing? We are doing sock checks. Want to show us what you're working with? What do you mean? Sock check. Sock. What kind of socks you have on? Oh. I don't understand. Like this? No, no, your socks. Oh, socks. my socks. Yeah. I didn't have any socks. No socks? No. Nope. Oh, you failed the socks yet. we got to get you to go in and buy a pair of socks. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Thank you. How about that? Go check them out. they got a lot of cool stuff. He's just advertised the shop there. He's just said, oh, yeah, go and check out the shop. Go and get, go and buy some socks. You've got no socks on, so you failed. So you need to go and buy some socks now. He's actually got the shop. Customers. He's actually got them business. Welcome to Sock Parlor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we're, we're at the Sock Parlor. We're doing sock checks. What do you got? You failed the sock check. No, I have socks on. Do you? What do you got? Well, so I have these shoes, but I don't want my socks to be seen, so I have little no-shows. There you go. Little, but I uh, bought socks from here the other day, so I'm back. I was really going to say, awesome. maybe we can get you to go in there and find a new pair. Let's see if I can. Come Very on. cool. Have fun. I will. You got two pairs right on. Don't play with the door. Very cool. Here's the warm, comfortable feet. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. There you go. So he literally got them business. They brought two pairs of socks from the sock parlor. So great, great job there, Amagansett Press and watching the Watchmen. You've advertised a company. How will they repay these wonderful people for advertising their business? Let's see, shall we? Here he comes, sneaking around the back. <laughs> That's our fair. Yeah. What are you guys filming? We're making a little video right now. We're filming this stuff. Cool. Is it your place? Yeah. Yeah, why are you filming? I don't know. Why are you putting the back of your head in my lens? Why is your camera in my face? Okay, so here we go. So this is the guy, right? This is the guy that um, gets really aggressive with him, gets in his face, gets in his, tell him, tells him he's not allowed to film, and then causes all these problems for Am Amagansett Press. This is, this is the guy that I think he looks like. So here is, here's Mark Rober. And here's, here's the guy. They're literally doppelgangers. It's, it's like the same person. I mean, obviously, maybe a bit more stubble, but they look so similar. I wonder if they're brothers. I don't know. But yeah, I, I did think that was quite funny how similar they both look. Come on, man. We're just out here filming, enjoying the day. That's cool. I just sold two pairs of socks for you, by the way. Oh, yeah? How did you do that? I told people I was out here doing sock checks, and I checked their socks. What do you got? You're the owner of the store. Sock check. I want to see my socks. Let's see what you got going on, man. Cheech and Chong. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Why not? Good sock will give you. Are you, you filming other stories? Good or you just filming you my story? Answer. It's just yours. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's all about cool. you today. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Do I feel, really? I'm so flattered. Are you? Yeah. Why not? Who are you angry at? I mean, any kind of attention's good, right? Uh, I don't know. Who am I angry at? What do yeah. you mean? I don't know. You having a good day? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no issues here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Seems, already he seems weird. It seems like he's on something. I don't know what's going on, but he seems freaky. Like, at, at this point, I'd probably make my exit. I'd be like, okay, this guy's weird. I'm getting out of here. But fortunately for us, I'm against set press and watching the Watchmen stand their ground and continue to film the sock parlor to see what this guy eventually does. Because, you know, this is a big test of this person's character. How is he going to respond to this situation? Is he going to maximize his advertising or is he going to make it worse for himself? Let's see. Well, you guys got to keep on doing your thing. Just we will. Like Appreciate you, like, man. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. There you go, quite a nice interaction to start with. A bit weird, a bit freaky, but in ultimately he ended by saying, have a good day, you know, keep doing what you're doing, see you later. And he went back inside. But this is not where the situation ends. The situation ends quite a lot late later, and actually when the sun is setting. Hey, I just uh, wanted to bring your attention. There's a couple of guys with cameras pointing at our store, like, kind of being weird. Guys, 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 guys. Not letting me know, like, what their whole thing is, like, why they're doing it. And I'm talking to one of the, the guys with the cameras pointing you're at You're going to regret this, dude. And he's, like, got some kind of, uh... Well, you're entertaining, man. He's got some kind of, uh... Motivation. He's got some kind of motivation, and I don't know what it is, and it's weird. 
Let's kill him. He is not happy. You're welcome to do whatever you're doing. Just don't block the doorway. Don't block my don't doorway. Don't touch my shit, man. Don't. Don't touch my shit, bro. Don't. You don't want to touch my shit. You don't want to step in front of my Don't doorway. touch my shit. You're in my house. Like, this is my house, dude. I don't care if I'm in. You're touch. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I don't care if I'm in. You Got him. <laughs> I got him. You just assaulted me. Look what you just did to my camera. Get this on film. Look at this. This is an expensive camera. Am I serious? What the hell's wrong with you, bro? You just broke my camera for no reason. I'm out here selling you stupid socks, and that's what you do? Just got maced by this guy. That's right. Just got sure maced did. by this guy. Sure I didn't break did. your camera. I moved it out of the way. No, you just broke my I camera. I told you bro. to not stand in front of my doorway because you you're blocking my, my customers for being in my store, and you just maced me. That's right. I have to say, the guy is firm in it. <laughs> he, he handling that. I would be like, <laughs> get me out of here. Oh my God. There's people coming out coughing their fucking guts up. And he's like, <clears throat> you did this to me. You did this to me. He's hanging in strong. So uh, this is probably the best reaction to uh, pepper spray I've ever seen anyone do. So he's, he's got that going for him. You just assaulted me. You assaulted me. Okay, dude. yeah. Tell yourself another story. You're on two yeah. cameras, bro. Unbelievable. What was the point of what you just did? Hi. Are you serious? Am I serious? Oh, yeah, is that what happened? It's a good thing it's all on video. But you can already hear the liberal area is already turning on AP here. But the, ever, the cameras don't lie. We, we can see what happened. We can see this store owner decided to get aggressive and grab AP's camera and broke the gimbal on it, or at least dislodged the gimbal so it's currently not working. <coughs> I can't even get my... Uh... I happen not to be able to buy these socks. You can thank this guy for that. What's going on here? Yeah, you can thank me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, biggest actress of the day. <laughs> Why would you come out and put your hands on somebody? You think that was a good idea? <coughs> All right, source closed. Thanks, guys. Do you really think that was a good idea, bro? Sorry about that. Yeah. I'll see you around. Yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs> How is he smiling? There's something controversial here that No, not at all. Probably. What are you guys filming here for? Why are you guys filming? We're making a travel. You've got to watch, watch as well for this girl in the background here, the one in the black hat. He also comes up and tries to smash an A-piece camera out of his hand, and watch, watching the watchman catches it on camera. And the guy that owns the socks store just came out and grabbed my camera and twisted my whole gimbal. So you based all the customers? He asked you to play. Yeah. Based all the customers? Interesting. Interesting perception. <clears throat> If I walk up and grab your phone, what are you going to do about it? Not, not kick you in the no. fucking small dick. Exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> small dick. <laughs> All right, small dick. How do you know what his dick size is, woman? You're just jealous because you want a dick, don't you? You want to dick like AP. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Tiny little realm. Is this like a chemical situation that we have to be worried about? Place around their way. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on Donner Pass Road. What the fuck are you talking about, women? It's called the sock parlor. And the... The owner of the store, I believe, he is, uh, just came out. I'm taking some pictures and video out on the sidewalk. He just came out and grabbed my camera, twisted it out of my hand, and I had to spray him with pepper spray. So I would like a uh, officer to respond, please. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I don't know what their motivation is. They have it out for the, they have it out for the sock parlor. <laughs> <laughs> they, have it. they have it out for the sock parlor. No, they were literally just promoting your business for you, and then you came out and caused all of this situation. Not only is your business now closed, but you've got all this negative press as well. Don't you realize that watching The Watchman has 200, more than 250,000 subscribers and AP has over 500,000 himself. That's over 750,000 people at least that could potentially see this video. And now it's on my channel too. So Mark Rober lookalike, you're, you're on, on watch my friend for your sock company. Front door, he just, uh, he's not doing anything aggressive right now. He's standing by the front door talking to somebody. 
I don't know what their motivation is at all, but they're harassing me. And, uh, I mean, I want to piece the shit out of this guy. He's look making threats. Look what you did to my... Yeah, so he might, might have missed that. But he actually said he wants to beat the shit out of him right now. So he is making threats of violence against these people. And literally all they did was go out there and film his business. And he's decided to act like this. So it's his own fault that this all this has happened. Gamble, bro. Oh, oh. yeah. Poor Gamble. Are you serious? <laughs> Your thing's not broken. Someone someone Listen, I'm going to throw it to you. You could have killed someone that has I'm asthma. I'm not interested. And you're I'm talking to, listen, now this, hey, 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 hey. See? Try to throw his Watch camera on the floor. Look how this guy is. Who does she think she is? Who's this random fucking tomboy coming up and trying to smash his camera? No, she needs to be looked into as well. These fucking crazy people in Truckee, California. What the fuck? How this guy is. What a piece of shit. But wait until his partner in crime comes out and they start doing poses. That is the best bit of the whole video. Seriously. Apart from the, the awesome police officers at the end. The biggest piece of shit human being. I gotta defend myself. I'm hanging on. You need to get the fuck out of Chucky, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Assault what are you again. doing here? Assault me again, bro. What are you doing here? What's wrong? This fucking guy and this. Look what he did to my camera. Well, what do you guys, what do you have caused the house of He here made me. A tourist, I told him to not block the door of my store and I pushed his camera out of the way and he put mace in my fucking eyeball and maced me. Let's go. We'll, <laughs> we'll just call the police. Police are on the way. Thank you. Yeah, he's called the police. What are you on about? Then, yeah, I have customers in my store and they're all breathing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so sorry. You say so. Oh my god, let's just uh let's just leave this 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 picture on the screen just for a little bit longer. Look at this fucking munter. Honestly, seriously woman, you need to stop poking your nose into other people's business. Seriously, and stop trying to attack random people on the street who are just trying to film. Honestly, look at her, look at this ugly person. Grab me again. I swear to god, grab me again. Touch me again, knock yourself out. I don't care who you are. If you touch me, yes. I'm gonna defend myself. You're absolutely right. Who are all these women? It's weird that all these women are just surrounding him and kind of defending this guy. Are they is he like a pimp or is he some kind of like I don't I don't fucking know what's going on here. But this is this is definitely dodgy. I actually think someone else needs to get back out to this store. It's kind of a bit weird. They, they need looking into. <laughs> hey, pull me back for you, dude. Appreciate it. Pull me right here. Get that on video. Come on, some right. stuff. That's actually interesting. That woman could be his mistress, you know. <laughs> he could be his mistress. Because she was there at the start, and she's, she's clearly not the owner. And then she's now going, and his actual partner is now coming to join the video. So... That is really weird. I think that's his like mistress. I think that may be why he didn't want anyone to film. Why mm. are you guys here? Like go to a different area. Look at her, she's out of there. It's amazing. Stupidity is contagious. Wow. It's incredible. Oh, no. We're filming my store. Oh yeah. We're making a trap. Here you go. So this is his wife, Mark Rober lookalike's wife. So Hmm, is he cheating on her with that other woman? <laughs> or is it actually the same woman and that, that she just kind of got changed? Because uh, they do look quite similar. But yeah, weird, weird. Maybe they're sisters. That'd be, that'd be even freaky, wouldn't it? If he's cheating on this woman with his sis with her sister. Oh, oh my God. This guy's in deep trouble. Okay, it seems weird that you would mace somebody if you at their, you're, we're trying to conduct a business. No, he came out of my store. Excuse me, you can't film guess. me without my so consent. So then go away. No, I'm having a conversation go with you. Away, Are you an adult away. human that I can no, conversate with? No, I'm not. I'm a child. Go away. Okay, we'll I'll just wait for, we'll wait for the, the, the cops to get yeah, here. Okay, That's good. perfect. We're coming anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you really love our store. That's great. No, so, I really love my gimbal, which is broken. Now, so. Good. I hope you're, you're not getting even worse from here. <laughs> just stand here like this the whole time. Here we go, the pose. Standing all day. <laughs> Fucking freak. And you're asking me if I'm an adult? You're not having That's a conversation really... with me, so I'm extremely I don't frustrated. Have a and you're obviously with you. I'm not an interested. idiot. So I'm not interested I don't believe you can film me without my consent, and I'm about I to knock your can. camera out of your fucking hand, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More threats. You're going to knock my camera out of my hand? Oh, my God. Really? He assaulted more That's than up to you. He assaulted everyone in the store. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's up to you. You are definitely yeah. preventing my business from happening right now, so I'm going to start videotaping you. You can videotape me all you want, just yeah. stop threatening yes. to assault me. How about that? You're assaulting us. I'm really not. Yes, you are. No. So anyway, so this continues on for a while. They eventually move across the road because they're clearly not going to get any kind of peace on this side of the road. 
So AP and watching the watchman move across the road to wait for the police to arrive. And they actually follow them across the road as they're moving across. But check the, well, we oh. smashed it, yeah. I'm just going to stand right next to y'all. I don't want you really following me around. Yes, you're gonna keep, what? Is you're that you, you're what do you think you're doing? My face? Go ahead, keep walking. I'm going to keep filming you until you're gone. Thank you. Here's the cops. Perfect. Yeah, not for you, mate. So get ready for this, because this cop is actually a fan of Amagan Set Press and watching The Watchmen. So it's hilarious what happens next. Uh, can, I, can you go over there and I'll talk to these guys and I'll go talk to you? Hey, on. Okay. Walter O'Brien. Yeah, yeah time Pleasure and temperature to check first, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you guys knew that or if you guys even watch Amagan Set Press. But at the start of every Amagan Set Press video, he starts off and he says, time and temperature check. This is where we're at. This is what the temperature's at. This is what the time is. And, uh, and this guy is clearly a fan because the first thing he said to AP and watching the Watchmen is, first thing, time and temperature check, please. <laughs> I think that's just a brilliant, brilliant introduction. Walter O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, time Pleasure and temperature check first, please. Yeah, right. How are you? So what's happening? Um, well, you can see I'm holding this like this. We started down at the end of the road there. We're doing a travel video for you. Yeah, YouTube. I've seen your videos. Okay, times. very good. And, and your sons. Very cool. Yeah. Really cool. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. hope you're He's a big fan. Right. He's a big fan. Like, as soon as the call came in that someone was filming in tricky, uh, tricky California, this guy was like, uh, does he have a beard? <laughs> is he bald? Does he have a beard? Is there another kid with him as well? And they're like, yeah, 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 there is, there is someone else with me. He's like, oh, the way! <laughs> Driving so fast. Come on! Everyone else, stay back. There. I've got this one. I've got this one. The whole way, he's like, time and temperature check, please. Time and temperature check, please. Time and temperature. No, 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 no. Time and, time and temperature check, please. Temperature. He's like, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Now, what's going on here? <laughs> it's like so, so fucking funny. I love it. This is why I love these videos. You don't get these real interactions anywhere else. So, we're so walking I, imagine, going, I imagine what happens. So. Ten minutes in front of each business, walking down, not bothering anybody. So we get in front of the sock parlor and a woman and her family walked up and said to me, what are you guys filming? So I said, oh, we're doing sock checks. You want to show us your socks? Maybe we can get you to go in and buy some new socks. So she shows me that she has no socks on. She says, oh, I'll go in there. So she goes in there and buys two pairs of socks. So she came out, she said, oh, I got two pairs, so we're having fun. Just so we've already seen all of this. Let's, let's move it ahead a little bit. Is there any way that I could see from anybody's... Oh, yeah, no, he can yeah, show I you got his body cameras. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. So do you want to pursue a complaint against him at all? I do, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Unless he wants to pay for my stuff. It's up to him. Yeah, it's cool. Dude, we're having a great time out here. Oh, it's, it's a great place. It's beautiful. Yeah. First time I've ever been to trucking. Yeah, I didn't think you guys would make it out here in the winter when it's colder. Can you, can you go talk to, that cold. I think it's the guy the Giants had on. These guys, they're YouTubers. I watch their channel all the time. I know their stuff. They like, they like to film, mm. right, in public, which is completely mm -hmm. And apparently the guy in the, in the Giants hat came out, grabbed his equipment, and was pulling on it. So, um, okay, that's interesting. And so we got sprayed. You know? So let's get that's all right. his info. And... Um, Medics can check him out, but he doesn't look like this. So well, there you go. A decent police officer who obviously already knows the no, he knows the crack, he knows AP, he knows watching the watchman, and he's just a very nice guy. And so this he then goes over and talks to them. They eventually cite the shop owner of the sock parlor and they meet some other nice police officers as well. And th it actually seems like a really nice police department so but yeah it's really really cool to see when you see a good police officer who knows the law knows his job and is prepared to defend a citizen who's well within his rights to film outside people's businesses video something happened and people give you a completely different story even though it was all videotaped and uh, you... yeah almost every time <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. well the camera is the witness that doesn't lie i like to say right i really appreciate people filming stuff very cool uh because it doesn't lie right. and that there's one side of the story exactly right that's cool i appreciate you guys showing up being professional and handling it the right way as far as i'm concerned yeah we're, we're like super yeah. trekkies pretty mellow very cool pretty mellow place, well, pretty mellow. Pretty mellow place. Awesome i mean we
Yeah, I mean, weed is legal in California, so maybe maybe they uh, they like to indulge a little bit in the police as well. Uh, but they seem like nice guys. And the other thing that he, he did say in the AP video and not in this version is that he's often looked back at his own body camera footage and he's remembered it in a different way. And so when he watches it back, he's like, oh, I didn't realize it happened that way. But the camera never lies. And that's why he was saying that. He's glad that people do film. People get their cameras out when something's happening and film it. So let's move now to the end of the video and see how AP is going to round this one off. Okay. <laughs> Any questions for me? No, that's it. Okay. You Appreciate guys enjoy you, the rest of your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. you. All right, guys. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. It still didn't fucking hit me. That's how much he sucked. Still didn't hit him? Be safe out there, man. Right, Appreciate you. Take care of Thank you. Have a good one. All right, guys, you saw how that went here in downtown Truckee, Nevada. Uh, kind of unfortunate the video had to come to such a, an untimely end like that, uh, but it's freezing out here. It got cold. Uh, businesses are starting to close because it's getting later. You know, that whole incident happened. So I think we're going to call it a night and uh, head back to the RV park, and we'll be out filming again this week. And he still didn't learn his lesson. He was still trying to be a tough guy, following us down the street even after the cops left, uh, even though he got a face full of mace and a citation from the police. So some people just never learn. I guess they'll assault another cameraman another day soon. Watching the Watchmen out with him against the press here in downtown Truckee, uh, California. See you in the next one, guys. Out. Oh, yeah. So, another fantastic video there from watching The Watchmen and along with Amaganset Press. So, I would recommend you go and subscribe to Watching The Watchmen along with Amaganset Press because they are both fantastic channels and I feel like getting the two different perspectives is really useful, especially when stuff like this happens. So, the fact that they do it together and it's a father-son thing, you know, they've got a good dynamic. And if you are interested in watching the audit that I did of Amaganset Press, then make sure you go and check out that video on my channel. It should be linked on the screen right now. But if not, it's there somewhere. So thanks, everyone. If you like this video, make sure you like it, comment, share it, subscribe, all of that good stuff. But most of all, stay chill.